Welcome back to Sunless Skies. In the last episode, we finished exploring the House of Rods and Chains. Now we're back at Pan. And I think what I want to do right now is make a little bit of money and also visit Eagle's Empyrean again at the same time. Because remember last time I left there pretty quickly and then turns out you can't go back in until you wait a bit of time. So there's a lot there that I've not explored. So let's go do that and deliver the prospect that I just got from the bazaar here in Pan to deliver three gemstones for Eagles Empyrean, which I just happened to have just bought as a deal somewhere. Caduceus or the House of Rods and Chains. I don't remember exactly where I got it, but yeah, let's go deliver it. I'll meet you over at Eagles Empyrean. We've arrived at the Place of Lights. The Hour of the Wolf. Doubts prey on you. Ah, this one. Endure this lean, cruel hour. 27% chance of success. Failure and my terror has gone up. 68%. Ugh. I hope there's something to do here at Eagles Empyrean to reduce that. I really do. Oh, I can hire on crew. Heck yeah, I'm very low. I'm actually below the safe manning number of six. Because remember, I let off... Um, I let off five people at the House of Rods and Chains to go look for Amber. Many potential workers lurk by the London Embassy. Their Empyrean visas have expired, but they're... Uh, but they've no way away from the port. Can only do this once every 15 days. Okay, so this is... Yeah, this is more like what I would expect at New Winchester or something like that. So I'm not sure if it's here because of the Wayfarer update, or just because it seems to be how Eleutheria works. Just like you can't fully repair your ship at Pan, you have to come here to do it. And just like you can only recruit a couple people, I think up to four at the max in Pan. Go on a recruitment mission. You're shorthanded, engine morale and condition will falter if you don't recruit more crew. Seven crew, thank God. The groups gathered outside the embassy clamor to be taken on. Perhaps they hope you'll take them somewhere that doesn't rely on faltering electricity to fend off the dark. It was only 40 sovereigns. I think I paid like 50 sovereigns at Pan to hire one person. Right, well that's taken care of. Let's finish the prospect. God, those are worth so much. 1400 for that. Bonus 100. London currently considers you an informant. The eagle is ambivalent. Oh, did I just... Did I just help London? Um, the London Embassy in Eagle's Empyrean has a need for Navaratine gemstones to bribe officials who cannot be swayed with mere sovereigns. Oh. I did just help them. But uh, the eagle is ambivalent, so I don't think it's going to hurt my reputation with them. I don't think I had a reputation with them, really. Let's visit the bespectacled official. They're the person who wants information for Empyrean, not for London. I think they want to port reports. Uh. Oh, right. They specifically wanted a report from the House of Rods and Chains. Well, excellent. This should satisfy the official's current need. Delivering intelligence to the official will raise your standing with the Eagle and lower it with the London Embassy. That's fine. The drop off. You are currently neutral with both embassies. A smile, a nod, an envelope passed from hand to hand under the table. A dropped mahjong tile draws your attention to a money pouch by your seat. You pick it up and play your next move. Careful as you are, it's unlikely that this exchange has gone unnoticed by observers from the London Embassy. Okay, so what do they want next? All right, I can give him plaques from Dowser Engines. The Dowsers being the Liberation of Night people. Oh, you can also just straight up donate them, which will lower your terror instead of getting payment. Smuggle Ministry Permits. Smuggle Visions of Heaven. Ask about the Khan's current interests. 
Mm, what do they want? Caduceus. Have you ever wondered what the devils at Caduceus get up to? They do not discuss their business with outsiders. Ordinarily, that would be their prerogative. But this close to Empyrean territory, even good neighbors must regretfully become just a little inquisitive. Caduceus lies to the east northeast of Pan. Do I have a port report from Caduceus that I didn't turn in? I guess I did turn it in. Otherwise, it would pop up here. Play a game of Mahjong? Does that do anything in particular? Nope. We've done that before. Okay. I totally forgot how this worked. London's Enclave. So that's the embassy. Is there anything I can do there? Oh. Port report. Enjoy a respite at the Maiden Unicorn? Is that going to reduce terror? No, it didn't. Not much of a respite. Anything to do with the embassy? I don't want to help them, so no and no. Alright, let's try to enter. Oh yeah, repair a locomotive. Fully repair? Ah, feels good. An outrider prepares for launch. Beyond the city, the eagle's latest ship prepares to head out into the heavens. Around the docks, the, the crowd does its part by releasing paper lanterns into the night air and cheering the sky-faring heroes. I can recruit people from the crowd for my crew. I'm good with 12 out of 14. Let's join in with the ceremonies. All are welcome to celebrate and toast the eagle's power. Please reduce my terror. 68%. 58%. Nice. You are made unusually welcome amongst the Empyrean citizens, and encouraged to construct your own traveling lantern. For once, they use candles rather than electricity. White, pristine, waxy. You fold the bright paper as instructed and release it into the air to join the rest. Together, they rise proudly past the Xanthus moon and disappear into the darkness, carrying the defiance of light against the liberation of night. Oh, that's a nice sentence. Carrying the defiance of light against the liberation of night. Visa checkpoint. Have a check by the guards. Nothing to surrender. And we're good. Yeah, so I should make sure not to leave this place. Unless I'm truly done because I can't come back for a while. Three places we can go. Let's go to Shangtu. Because it's the district of recreation and amusement, where music and games distract from the encroaching dark. Sounds like a good place to lose some of this terror. The electric purple lights of Shang Tu can be seen even from the lane. The sound of laughter carries on the wind. Laborers finishing shifts, guards just off their outriders, courtiers fresh from the palace. All form a throng streets away from Shang Tu, headed in one direction alone. You'll have to pass through the quieter places of the city first, however. Each street is lit by evenly placed electric lights. The light is cold and casts hard shadows. Empyrean citizens hurry by in silks and cloth. There's always somewhere to be in the Empyrean. All who live here work. There's no space for idleness. Walk on or navigate in the dark. What does this do exactly? 68% chance of success. Lights on the street ahead fail suddenly. The Empyrean suffers periodic bouts of darkness as power stalls. Can you find your way? This is, is walk on like walk back? Like leave this place? Um, let's navigate in the dark. I failed and my terror went up. You struggle on, moving through a press of bodies, citizens eager to get back to the safety of home and light. People draw close together, gathering around oil lamps and hastily lit lanterns. Deliberation has agents in the dark. The Empyrean has foes other than London. A fraying blue light sparks to life as you round what turns out to be a dead-end alley. A window shatters nearby. There is a cry of, Liberation! And then the sound of running feet away from you. 
Chengtu is a paradise of lights and entertainment. Let's watch the games. The traditional games of wrestling, archery, and horseback racing. There are no horses in the high wilderness. The Empyrean has improvised with a grieved miniature contangory. Miniature? As, as in like a totally different type of contangory from the ones I've seen? I want to see a tiny contangory. Pleasures one from the dark. Five sky stories, nice. The Mahjong boards have been updated to reflect the War of Midnight. Polished tiles of white, black, and blue do battle at rapid pace. Wrestling is, as it always has been, a battle of brawn and wits between athletes in prime condition. The vast stadium, the Arena of Slow Thunder, stands tall against the horizon. Within, the Empyrean's most daring try their skill at contankery riding. You spend a few hours in the stands, cheering on the young men and women who brave these unusual mounts. After a while, a troop of very polite guards escort you out of the Empyrean to the port. You've seen enough for today, they say. I have? The... Thanks? What the hell? Just like, just me specifically? Not it, not everybody? Uh, that's a little weird. Oh, oh god, that's... It forces you out. When they say you've seen enough for today, they don't just mean of that one particular thing. They mean of the Empyrean at all. So, yeah. That's it. Damn. Well, I wasn't terribly successful at reducing my terror. And I guess that's all we can do here. I want to go exploring in Eleutheria more, but my terror is so high. And there is some stuff that I forgot to do in the Reach, especially clearing my soul at uh, Karillan. So, let's go back to the Reach. Present myself to customs. Nothing to declare. Travel to the Reach, 200 sovereigns. Oh, what is this? The burrower below has not increased. This quality cannot currently increase past 20. Does that mean it's already at 20? I guess so. Hmm. That is a creepy ass icon. It looks like an eye full of multiple weird eyes. It's very disturbing. Jettison some supplies as an offering. We've also got a wreck. Uh, let's signal the wreck. Maybe we can get a another crew member? Yeah. Nice. We gained one crew. I'm at Hybris now. Collected a sample of Hybris pus. I'm sure we'll be taking all the stuff I have to the phlegmatic researcher. Sure we leave in the fungal meadow? Let's join the crew in their song to reduce our tear a bit. Is there a port report I can get? Yeah. Bargain for unseasoned hours. I do have... Uh, I do have room for it. I might find another bargain somewhere else. That's something more pricey. But, eh, I'll just buy this. Okay, so I'm actually heading up to Faith's Fall. This up here, because... One of the things they added in the Wayfarer update is the ability to explore some horrors and wonders, including Faith's Fall. Loot the hold. One Salon Stewed Gossip. The Guthrie's Revelation. It's a cool name. Enter through the yawning tear in the hole. Well, I don't actually want anything that's going to take up hold space because I don't have room. Let's mourn the dead. That'll reduce terror. Yeah. 
really curious what this exploration of Faith's fall is going to be. Interact. The remains of a celestial behemoth rotting gently. Oh, we have a guest. The UCE Howard's Nightmare. That's an appropriate- oh god, there's another one. Fuck. on that. <sighs> the guests evicted. What can I do? Oh, the guests' ligaments for the nature reserve, right? That'll be worth a lot, I'm sure. We've done that before, so I'm not going to read it. Lose terror, salvage scraps. Eh, I can just repair once I get back to New Winchester. Give to you, get you captive guests. Hmm. Sure. Trap and collect some of the guests. If the crew find out you're bringing these on board, they won't be happy. Where one guest goes, others follow. Yeah, that sounds terrible. Let's do it. Oh fuck, I even failed. I still managed to collect some though. Your trip is a triumph. You use tongs to place several budding guests into a jam jar. You return back to the ship. Your return back to the ship is less of a success. Unfortunately, your crew have been sensible enough to post someone on watch. She spots the jar under your arm, but says nothing. You need 25 captive guests, and a condemned experiment to make a weapon. When you have enough, you'll have to kill one last guest-infested engine to make it. So how many guests did I just collect? Ah, uh, it's under miscellaneous in possessions. I have eight. I need, I think it was 25? Plus a condemned experiment. Okay, well now that my terror is just incredibly high... Let's explore Faith's Fall. Should I explore it or should I go reduce my terror? I don't, I don't know. Let's explore it. On the carapace. What remains of the behemoth's carapace is scarred with sigils. Most are marred and broken, some still holding a sullen, resentful power. Your locomotive is stopped on a broad, flat section of the shell. The few sigils nearby are too cracked to risk much harm. Delve deeper into the body, or repair your locomotive. The creature's chitinous shell is as hard as bronze wood. If you can hack off a few sections, you could patch your engine. No thanks. Let's delve deeper into the body. What secrets might you find in the depths of a messenger corpse? Oh, okay. Some people had talked about what sort of a thing this was. Like, I was almost certain that this was a dead son. Celestial behemoth. I mean, it's even a... It, from what I can see, the part of it that I can see, it looks like a ball. But some people are saying, like, it's way too small to be a sun. And also, remember there was... There was somebody, I think it was one of the people for the... The main quest of the truth, one of the people at the, the bar at New Winchester. He was mentioning something about the number of suns in the different regions, and... 
I remember the number for the reach didn't add up and it made me question whether this is actually a sun or like whether it's still there or if that's like a mistake. But yeah, it actually explicitly says this is a messenger. Delve deeper into the body. Two supplies. Heavily laden. You handpick a few of your crew, but their expressions are grim. Together, you make your way to a crevice in the carapace and secure a rope. You lower supplies down first. It would not do to be caught unprepared. Stinking rotten caverns. As you climb down, a sickly scent fills your lungs, sweet and heady and corrupt. You have to pause at the bottom to tie a scarf around your face. Your crew does likewise. Desiccation has created tunnels in the behemoth's corpse. The walls are wizened flesh, stone hard, striated with muscle. Delve deeper still. Search for its heart or leave. Search for its heart. You can only do this once per captain. Holy shit. Oh my god, what what am I going to do with its heart and once per captain? It's the first time I've ever seen anything like that. Needed it needed an unlicensed chart. Well, I think I should delve deeper before I search for its heart, right? Yeah. Failure will cost you crew. I have an 85% chance of success. Success. The tunnel widens into a vast chamber. Something must have made its home here once, in the living passages of the behemoth. Just by the entrance, there is a collection of tools the color of amber. The pile is pinned down by flesh long collapsed from the roof above. Further off, the room has been riven in two. Your route is blocked by a yawning crevasse. Your rope will not reach even halfway across, but you could climb down. So just to back up a second, um, something's been living down here. There's a collection of tools the color of amber. It must have been the, the rubbery men, because we know, I mean, they're doing this exact same thing to another messenger body. I don't know why I went down here. We're in the reach. In Eleutheria, there's the House of Rods and uh, Rods and Chains. Or is it Rod and Chains? I forgot if they're both plural or not. But the rubber men are there, collecting amber from the guts of that messenger, so I guess at least one did the same here. Dig into the horde or explore the crevasse. I'm going to go down, down, down as deep as I can into this sucker. Explore the crevasse, your crew can lower you down. A cavity as vast as a ballroom. The wall is covered with a thick crust. Jagged striations suggest this chasm is a wound, long ago gouged into the behemoth. Beneath flaking scabs are dim sigils, desperate declarations of loyalty. This messenger was steadfast. It died in its king's service, fulfilling its will. The sigils blaze desperately when they feel they're being read. You're overcome by the light. Your crew haul you up and carry you to the surface. Gain a vision of the heavens. Ah, okay, so that just used up our supplies, and now we're back on the surface. Let's go down again. Mm, this is... this is different. Break through the hardened membrane. A crack reveals a chamber beyond. When you press your ear to the crack, you can hear a faint groaning noise. What could be inside? With the membrane broken, the flesh above begins sagging downwards. A stoker's swift work with a strut means you can explore the newly exposed opening. You'll have to work swiftly. The strut creaks and complains. It cannot last long. A fraying coil of rope and an empty box of supplies reveals that you are not the first explorers to come here. Free trapped explorers. Oh no. Um, yeah, soft moaning comes from under a pile of stony flesh. This will give you a crew if you have space for them. The explorers are trapped under a fold of hard, rubbery flesh. Your crew pries the fold up to release them. Two men crawl free. The explorers have been abandoned by their captain and are in need of a new home. Once they've sluiced off the filth, they'd make a fine addition to your crew. Gained a crew. Let's go in again. I mean, 
might as well just keep delving as long as I can, really. Delve deeper. So we're back at the, the thing where I can either explore the crevasse or dig into the hoard. So let's do that. Any relic would be of value to the right collector. Got 150 sovereigns. You prize up the leathery flesh so that a nimble-handed stoker can grab at the resinous tools. Every golden piece she pulls free is scored a knotted eye, the symbol of the halved, the lightless sun that rules Eleutheria. Your crew help you carry them to the surface for cleaning. You'll be able to sell them to anyone with an interest in the history of stars. Let's delve deep again. Probably shouldn't do that another time. I've got three supplies now. I think it's time to search for its heart. This is the corpse of a celestial messenger. You have a chart that claims to point the way to its heart. So, can't help but notice my tear is 86%. I'll be okay. I'm pretty close. I'm pretty damn close to the circus. Visit to the circus will set me right. Tunnels that branch and branch again. After hours of pressing through low-ceilinged tunnels, the walls become papery like a wasp's nest. The ground is more rubbery and corded. Muscle. You must be nearing the heart. You squeeze through a cranny into an oval-shaped chamber. A stultifying heat presses down. You are in a ventricle of the heart. The heart is clogged with hard, black, cancerous polyps. Each is scored with a sigil of guilt. They have grown in such abundance that the heart is distorted. They have torn a hole in the muscle wall. Is this what killed the behemoth? So the polyps are scored with a sigil of guilt? So it was killed by these polyps corrupting basically a cancer. Cancer stopping their heart from working correctly. Gain a 500 experience, a searing enigma, and 15 terror. Okay, I think we've seen enough. So, this was a messenger that was obedient to, well, we found a bunch of money that had the symbol of the halved, so it was obedient to the king who wars, or the halved, the one that chose to become dark in Eleutheria. wonder what exactly killed it. Okay, we've got an event that I haven't seen before, and also creepy music since my terror is so high. Old ghosts. You wake with a start. It's dark and cold as graveyards, and someone is in your cabin. They're sitting silent at the end of your bed. For years you've been haunted by a ghostly presence. Now it is paying you a visit. Leave. Terrify your visitor with horrors of your own. <laughs> Invoke the storm that speaks. Takes three uncanny specimens. That's intriguing. This would take seven of my 50 tales of terror. Hmm. Let's invoke the storm that speaks. The storm, it is said, can banish the ghosts of your past for a price. The storm's dinner. The invocation is simple but unpleasant. You make a stew from the giblets of dead sky things and speak a grace consisting of your oldest unsettled regret. Then you light a candle stub and feast before it burns down. Your stomach rebels. It's a struggle to keep the pungent offal down. When you return to your bed, you're alone and untroubled. When you sleep, you dream of words written in lightning and a stolen throne. The storm that speaks is uninterested in you. Good. It's bored of me now. And our terror has fallen. We've arrived at the circus. <laughs> Alright, let's drop all this friggin' terror. Let's listen to their stories. Get our free tickets. 
Get a port report. Tender performance. Four sky stories. Vision of the heavens. And let's visit the amusements a lot. And we're good. The rest I should drop when I go to London. Or uh, New Winchester, I mean. Just arrived at Wolvesley Station in New Winchester. So I think that's a pretty good place to end the episode. I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to finish up with all my business in the Reach. Including going to the Nature Reserve. And most importantly, going to Carillon to fix my soul. <laughs>